it's Meg and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my Animal Crossing Pocket Camp book nook, I guess you could say. If you didn't know already, I love Animal Crossing. It is a video game that I have grown up with throughout my childhood. I'm playing it on my DS and now we have a version on the phones which is the Pocket Camp which is absolutely amazing and I adore it. Like other people, I am waiting for this new Animal Crossing game to come out on the Switch, even though I don't have a Switch, even though I'm probably not going to get a Switch, even though I'm going to be really tempted to get a Switch just to get the new Animal Crossing game. Obviously in Animal Crossing you can be very inventive, and I have created my own little book nook that I thought I would give you guys a tour of, because if there's any way for me to combine books and Animal Crossing together, I'm obviously going to do that. And there is no perfect day to do this than on a rainy day, which is why my room is so dark and in my brand new, in my new jumper, which is extremely comfy and cosy, even though it is now June when I'm filming this and I shouldn't be wearing jumpers like this, but you know, it's Britain, so what do you expect? I hope you guys enjoy this video and having a little tour of my Animal Crossing camp. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Am I the only one who's not a massive fan of this new front? I pretty much preferred the new font, like cover, when it first started. Um, when they first started the app, you know how it had the world with all the little animals and like the shops and stuff around it? I much preferred that to what they've done now, so... Nintendo, please change it back, because I don't like it like this. I don't think it's as nice. Oh! Oh, Gracie's here! What's Gracie up to now? I haven't seen Gracie in ages. I just remember her being in, um... Whatever you want to call it. In Wild World, that's the only one that I have. Apart from... I don't think... She's... No, she must be in City Folk, surely. Hey! So welcome to my campsite. It is the evening now, which is absolutely lovely. And I think I will give you guys a little bit of a tour of my campsite and then go into the cabin, which is actually the book nook that I've created, that's where I've created it, so that is what I'm going to do. But first I'm going to check my mail because I've got to be collecting those leave tickets because after a previous challenge that I did I have nearly run out of them so I need to gather them back up. So this is my campsite and it's not how, I don't love it at the moment I must admit because my original plan for it was to make a kind of... Why, why on earth is that there? To do a Mad Hatter's Tea Party and I got bought everything, set it up and I just wasn't a fan. I might try and do it with a different table or something but for the moment it's kind of like this... It's like a garden party I guess? So I've got a little table with some tea on it and I've got meringue which is, she's one of my faves Goldie and this is the natural uh, campsite I believe that's what it is called because you can get different sorts of campsites with different characters so I've got that one and I've got Lily and then I've got a archway that I got from it was like a fiesta event like where you collect the flowers and stuff and then I've got a fountain which I got from the same event which I absolutely love. I love anything to do with water, I love water features so obviously I had to get that. And then I've got a blossom tree which I absolutely adore because I also love blossom. And then I've at the moment I've got a carousel at the back and I've got like a mushroom tent thing. And a campsite isn't where I want it to be right now, like in, ideally I would love to have the background that has all the blossoms, the cherry blossom trees, I would adore that. And there's some beautiful skies and I want to get the treehouse eventually but I'm going to like do all the other upgrades before I get the treehouse because I just, that's the one that I want. So that is my little campsite and then this is my camper van. I haven't can't quite remember what it looks like inside so we're gonna find out. It might be quite interesting. 
quite boring, possibly. Oh yes. So my inside it's fairly plain at the moment, I'm not going to lie. I did have it kind of summery and then, oh I had it extended, that's why it looks like this. I had my interior extended so that is exciting and I can change some stuff around but I think last time I updated this like inside of here was kind of in the summer so I did like a surfer theme because I'm obsessed with all things surfing even though I'm not that great at surfing but besides the point so yes it's not very exciting but there we go we'll, we'll escape from that oh it's night time night time oh look at how pretty the stars are Aww. everybody's out okay so I will go on my map here and I will just collect my little balloons. I quite like the idea of doing these now, I think it's quite fun. And I love this. Like, I know it's kind of cheating, but getting Pete to deliver your parcels for you just makes everything ten times easier. So I might just do a couple of those now and then they're done. I guess this is like a general Animal Crossing tour as well as bookmark tour because it's kind of nice to show you guys around my campsite and all that sort of thing you know I'm currently on level 52 at the moment so I'm doing quite well I can't remember I don't know if there's 50 levels no there's not 50 maybe 100 I'm not entirely sure to be honest and we will take you to my little bookmark if I can remember where the thing is there it is into the cabin which I love the idea of a cabin because it gives you kind of more indoorsy space that you can do which I absolutely love, so you kind of get your campsite which is kind of more outdoors and then your cabin which is kind of, I don't know, just cosier and lovely and it's really interesting seeing what people do with it so here is my little butt nook which is so exciting I currently have... is it really bad that I can't remember the names of the animals that I have in here now I do remember the names of them, Philbert and whatever the other bird is called, I can't remember, which is really bad. So, I'll show you around. They always seem to leave this bit at the bottom there, which I don't know why, I do kind of find it a bit of a pain because I could have so much more space and I could fit so much more in here, but I'm still happy with what I've created and I worked really hard on this. I remember being so excited about it and knowing that I had to make a video, so obviously that's why I'm doing it now. So, let me give you a tour. So, there isn't loads and loads of bookshelves in here because there's only one bookshelf uh, design that Animal Crossing have and it's not that amazing, like the bookshelves aren't even full, which I don't get. But hopefully throughout the updates they may create some better bookshelves that I can add in here, so I would love to do that. So I will give you a tour from here, so we have a tea and coffee like refreshment area so if you meet with like a beverage, whether it's like tea or coffee or something else I have a little refreshments area over here and then over here I have like kind of a lamp with some chairs I kind of went for like a super traditional kind of cabin theme like with the cabin furniture and kind of the, just the style of it in general and then in the middle I have a more seating area so some sofas with some mint tea and I also have a board game because sometimes if you want to take a bit of a break from reading obviously that's quite nice and then I have a fireplace because that's just the element of cozy like come on like you know you know and then here are the bookshelves. I did think about putting more bookshelves in, but I decided not to because then I wouldn't be able to fit. I wanted to have enough seating area basically for when I do add more animals into here. So I've just got three and I've accidentally started talking to Jay. So that's, I've remembered his name now, so it's Jay. Oh look, Jay is reading a book now. I love that in this new Animal Crossing, how they can't, when you have different items in the room that they interact with them, like whether they're drinking tea or they're reading a book or sometimes they like dance with maracas and stuff, I just think it's adorable. So yeah, as you can see the bookshelves aren't amazing but it's better than nothing you know and even th I wish they were kind of fuller but it's gonna have to do for now, hopefully Nintendo will 
bring some updates for bookshelves, please do Nintendo because I would love like some massive full bookshelves to put in here. I think that would be amazing. And then over here, lastly, I have a table with some chairs. And I guess if you want, um, if you want to read here or just sit and drink your tea or maybe do some writing. You can tell how much I have thought about this, haven't you? How much detail has gone into it. I hope it's not that sad, but then again it's Animal Crossing, so what do you expect? I think like everybody puts a lot of effort into it, but yeah, that is my little book nook area. We're just going to talk to Philbert, because I haven't spoken to him for a while, so I feel like we need to, you know, catch up and stuff. You know, sounds like I don't have many friends, which I don't, but you know, the animals are my friends. Hey, look at him. And so yeah, that is basically it really. I absolutely adore this though so much. I am really proud of how it came out because I remember thinking about it and going through it and like, I put, I put a lot of detail into it. But I had fun, and that's the thing of Animal Crossing, it's such a creative game, and I feel like you can just let your imagination run wild, there's so much you can do with it, and it's always really interesting seeing what other people do as well. So yeah, that is basically my little book nook for my Animal Crossing. I hope you liked that, and I just thought it'd be really cute to show you guys, because, you know, it's just cute and I love Animal Crossing, in case you haven't already realised. So, if I can remember how to do it, I will find my number, so then you guys can find me if you would like to. I think that's my ID. There we go. So, if you can see my ID there, that is my ID. If you would like to become friends with me on, on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, please do. I would love that so much, and we be can become friends and I c we can have a look through each other's towns, we can both come and read together at my cabin in my little book nook and we can read books and drink tea and it'll be a grand old time even though it's not reality but you know who wants reality when you can have books and Animal Crossing like seriously come on but there we go that is the tour of my Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and my little book nook thing that I probably put way too much effort into but I don't care, I enjoy it so yeah, I really really enjoyed that so there you have it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video it is something a little different but I've been wanting to film it for a while and I'm so glad that I finally did and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you got any of you guys are a fan of Animal Crossing or you have Pocket Camp or anything like that and you love to play it then let me know in the comments down below or make sure you become friends with me and then like I said we can become friends and go to each other's towns and just have a lot of fun. If you did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more bookish videos from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you will be noted every time I post a new video. As always, I will leave the links to my social media along with the links to my Goodreads and my blog in the description down below for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.